As you may know, I despise CSS. However, recently I just had a breakthrough. So just to give it a little context, like I'm a backend engineer that does mostly backend stuff. So, you know, data migration stuff, integrating with like external services and stuff. And yeah, doing some automation and stuff as well with um, large and small data sets. So front end is not what I really like you, but I do it for the clients to make them happy. So luckily I don't have to do a lot of the heavy lifting with the CSS that I have to do so with some of my projects. So I don't have to do any of the beautifications and anything like that. But something came up that brought me to this realization. And the crazy part is I've been doing this all along with my backend stuff and backend assignments. And this thing is called reading documentation. <music> You would think I've been doing this all along with my front end assignments that I get assigned to. But the honest truth, I probably Google like 98% of those particular assignments or copy and paste something that was pretty similar to it. So going back to my breakthrough, it was this one assignment recently that I came across and it just, you know, brought me to the realization. I just had a lot of time on my hand and I just really wanted to understand this particular type of functionality. On, in regards to the front end workings of it, right? So I spent the time. One of the requirements was to essentially uh, use a particular component that will turn a link into like a name, but when you click on that name, it will you know go to that URL link. And of course you can do that easily with like HTML and so on and stuff like that. But I'm using some stuff that I was using for like the stuff that I do uh, with my job, such as Salesforce. And I was using Lightning Web Components. So just to break it down, so I did some basic things that I did previously with some other stuff with the data table little component. Uh, set up the columns and also created a little Apex class controller. Um, from there on, you know, the controller would, you know, get the information, the data to go into the Lightning Web component, pull it into the front end component on the client side. Um, and then this is where I was having issues with. So I knew when I was setting up the columns data structure and essentially when that is like put into that component, it reads verbatim like that name that's coming in for those data. So, you know, I did what I needed to do in regards to that, but one of the issues was it came out as just a link originally. Went through the documentation, saw that it was, you know, getting to the point where it needs to be but it was missing one particular element. And I saw in this one piece in the documentation to add like an additional labeling. So instead of like the URL link label that it was showing up for the component, it had this try attributes um, property in this column that you can set for that particular URL. So I did that and um, nothing really happened. It just, you know, print out that just name that I did. And I was thinking that I was gonna call in from the API stuff. But instead of doing that, I did this particular thing with, um, I just learned with JavaScript. I didn't know this, that JavaScript could do this. Essentially, you can just add additional property to an array of objects and you know you know call it whatever you need to when you're loading in that data so you know i did some adding a variable to that property of that array each time it was looping through and you know i got to that point and then i added this one thing i saw uh, i finally gave up and i was like yo let me google search this piece because this is the last piece that i need so let me google search it and there it was you know put a little curly brackets and uh, fill field name and so on and put the name there there you go and that's how i got to that piece and i was like yo all of that stuff was a mystery to me and how that worked but now it just 
it just clicked. It just clicked. So yeah. Like like I said, like this wasn't something new that I came across, like documentation. I knew this stuff all the time. I think one of the things when I was doing front end stuff, I really didn't want to read the documentation. Um, maybe it was just because back end stuff was more straightforward to me and was more interesting. And I think that's probably what it played into. But now it's like, yo, if I really, you know, just sit down and, you know, take the time and do what I need to do to, you know, fully understand what I'm implementing as far as front end stuff, then I can actually get stuff done. So essentially a whole new world has been opened up to me. I love it. Mm -hmm.